Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be comparing two numbers, 50 to the power 50 and 49 to the power 51. So I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. So to compare two numbers, if both numbers are positive, like let's say you're trying to prove A is less than B, you can check two different things, either A over B or A minus B. If you can prove that A over B is less than 1, this basically implies A is less than B, and if A minus B is less than 0, then this implies A is less than B again. All right, so I'm going to use the first one. Let's go ahead and divide 49 to the power 51 by 50 to the power 50. I'm going to go ahead and split one of the 49s and write it separately like this. And then using the common exponent, I'll write this as 49 over 50 to the power 50. And now 49 over 50 is less than 1. I can write it as 1 minus 1 over 50. And then raise it to the 50th power and then multiply by 49. So this is what my expression can be written as. And I'll be using a famous, should be well known hopefully to you too, a well-known inequality which is called Bernoulli's inequality. And Bernoulli's inequality goes as follows. If x is greater than negative 1, then we have 1 plus x to the power n is greater than or equal to 1 plus xn. Here n is, I believe, a non-negative integer. Okay, so we're going to apply this inequality to our expression, uh, this part. So in this case, I want to use a negative x. Negative x's are okay as long as x is greater than negative 1. Make sense? Great. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to write this as 1 minus 1 over 50. Since I have the 50th power, I'm going to write it as to the 25th power and then raise it to the second power. Make sense? So th this part. And then this can be written as follows. Obviously, if you think about negative 1 over 50, that number is going to be greater than negative 1 because it's between negative 1 and 0, right? So that's the x value I'm going to use. So this will be greater than or equal to, I'm looking at the inside, 1 minus 1 over 50, which is 1 plus x, multiplied by n. In this case, n is equal to 25. And this is my x value. Okay? And then, of course, I need to square as well because of the outside. And now my expression is going to be greater than or equal to that. So in other words, we have 1 minus 1 over 50 to the 50th power is greater than or equal to, and if you simplify this expression, you're going to get 1 minus 1 half to the second power, which is 1 fourth. Great, so that expression is greater than or equal to 1 fourth, but 1 fourth is greater than 1 over 49. This is a nice implication because we have that 49 as a factor, remember, in our expression. So this shows us that by Bernoulli's inequality, 1 minus 1 over 50 to the 50th power is always going to be greater than 1 over 49. Now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 49. 49 cancels out, and we showed that this product is greater than 1. So 49 times, and now what is that product? Let's go ahead and convert it back. If you make a common denominator, you get 49 over 50, raise it to the 50th powers, and you're going to get 49 to the power 51 over 50 to the power 50 is greater than 1. And this implies that 49 to the power 51 is greater than 50 to the power 50. So the larger number is going to be 49 to the power 51. As a general principle, we can pretty much say that if the numbers are pretty close, then the one with a smaller base is usually larger because that has a bigger exponent. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. For my second method, I'll reverse the process, sort of, like not, not the reverse process, but reverse the numbers. So this time I'm going to be looking at the quotient 50 to the 50 divided by 49 to the power 51. And then we'll split up the same way, 50 to the 50, 49 to the 50, and then take the one of the uh, 49s out, but that's in the denominator, so it's going to be a fraction. And then write this as 50 over 49 
to the power 50 times 1 over 49. So what do we do with this? 50 over 49 is greater than 1, so I can write it as 1 plus 1 over 49 to the power 49. But it's 50th power, so what we can do is we can actually go ahead and split one of the powers. So let's go ahead and write it this way. This times 1 plus 1 over 49 to the power 1, and then times 1 over 49. Great. So now, this the first part should be familiar to you because it looks like 1 plus 1 over n to the power n. Does that look familiar? I hope it does. Now, if you simplify this a little bit, you're going to get the following. 1 plus 1 over 49 to the power 49, and then this is multiplied by 50 over 49 times 1 over 49. Awesome. Now, here's what we're going to look at. 1 plus 1 over n to the nth power is always increasing. This is going to be an increasing sequence, and it can be proven. And also, there's another fact that is important about this. Limit as n approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 over n to the nth power, and that's what makes this number or sequence very special. This is going to equal Euler's number. Make sense? Great. So now, e is about 2.7, by the way, so it's less than 3. So, we have an increasing sequence, and the, its limit is less than 3, so all the terms are going to be less than 3, which means, which means this expression right here, 1 plus 1 over 49 to the power 49 is going to be less than 3. Now, let's go ahead and multiply both sides of this inequality by this product. So, if you multiply by that, which is 50 over 49 squared, and 50 over 49 squared. The left-hand side is going to give us the original expression, and then the right-hand side, let's see what happens on the right-hand side. We have 3 times 50 over 49 squared, but that's equal to 150 over 49 squared. And guess what? That is less than 1. Why? Because 49 squared is going to be definitely much, much bigger than 150, so the quotient will be less than 1. What does that imply? It implies that this expression is less than 1, and that is equivalent to 50 to the 50 over 49 to the 51. That is less than 1, and this implies that 50 to the 50 is less than 49 to the power 51. And again, as before, the larger number is going to be 49 to the power 50. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.